Hello everybody, my name is Al DePaulo and I'm the Partner Products Manager. Today I wanted to take a quick look at a uh, SolidWorks project from one of our customers. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is open a step file inside of SolidWorks. And um, you know, right now I have a white background and a white part, so I'm going to right click on the imported model and I'm going to go to appearances and I just want to change the color of it from white to orange just so I have some contrast with the background and basically what we want to do here is we want to unfold this part we want to lay it out flat and then we want to create some bend lines and export that so we can use uh, you know cut it out on the plasma and, and uh, uh, you know get it folded up so um, now that we have the file open if uh, you know within SolidWorks you have a number of different uh, tabs that you can utilize on uh, this example we want to be on sheet metal uh, if you don't see this tab located on your screen what you can do is go to insert sheet metal and the first thing we want to do is convert this file to sheet metal so we're gonna do convert to sheet metal now there's a couple of different uh, options here. Uh, what we want to do is click on this first one, which is select the fixed entity. So I am going to kind of turn the part over here a little bit, and I want to click on this bottom surface. So I'm going to click on this bottom surface here, and and that will be the surface that I'm working with. Now, what you're going to see is that there's the thickness of the material here. If you need to adjust the thickness, uh, it's actually not based on the model at this point. It's based on this input value here. So we can adjust what the um, thickness of the material that we're working with is. Okay. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is pick up our bend edges. Now, you can do collect all bends, and it's going to grab this uh, information for you, or you can go through and pick up the edges that you want okay now in this example I just collected all my bends um, there is some bend allowance uh, values you have a bend table bend calculation bend allowance bend deduction or K factor I'm using a K factor of 0.5 uh, you can increase or decrease that as necessary and uh, that's about it we're gonna go ahead and check this and what that will do is convert this file uh, to a sheet metal file. Uh, the next thing that we want to do, you'll see flat pattern here. We're going to just uh, uh, expand this and then we're going to right click on it. You can see it's grayed out right now, so we want to right click on it. Uh, we are going to go to this button right here, which is unsuppress. Okay, so um, you know, following this process, really what we've done is we have taken an imported model, we converted it to sheet metal, we defined the thickness of our material, we collected our bends, and we have laid it out flat. You know, so what you're going to see now is you're going to see the model is laid out flat, and then you're going to see some sketches on here. These sketch lines here, these are your bend lines, and that's really uh, what we're after. So what we want to do from here is we want to take this and we want to uh, save this information so that we can open it up in another um, another cam file uh, or another cam package. So uh, from here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this top surface here and I'm going to go to a sketch and then I'm going to hit my space bar and I'm going to click on this button here which is view normal okay from there I'm going to sketch a rectangle uh, and really I'm just copying the lines that are already there so I sketch a rectangle to the boundary I'm going to zoom in with my mouse wheel I'm going to grab this line I'm going to take it out to here, all right, and then uh, it's allowing me to draw another line, so I'm just going to um, double click to end that line drawing, and then I'm going to draw another one here, so I'm just going to click on that dot, roll my mouse, roll my mouse in, click on that, double click, and then there we go, we have this bend line, we have this bend line, and we have the outside profile. Um, if we also wanted to get the... Um, profile the part two we could do a 
uh, convert entities and then just click on this face here and check it down and that will also give us the the profile that we see in here as well okay so now that we have all of this uh, geometry laid out we can uh, exit our sketch from there we can go file save as and we should be able to come down here to save as uh, DXF is what we want I'll just put it on my desktop give it a name save the file and there we go alright so we we opened up our model uh, you got some options over here we're gonna just check this down and that should be just fine. We'll also see a preview of what the file will look like so we can see our boundary and our bend lines and we'll go ahead and choose save and we're all set now, okay? Um, so those are the steps that w we could follow in order to take an imported model to uh, un uh, convert it to sheet metal, unfold it, lay it out flat, uh, get our bend lines and save the file out as a DXF.